happy Monday. Welcome to my channel, Meatless Monday. Uh, I'm Elandria Wilson, and this evening I am going to prepare a, like a ramen noodle dish, and I'm using these organic um, noodles here, and um, I've already uh, pre-chopped it, everything, and then I'm going to cook it. But um, also, I have dried out some tofu that I'm gonna throw on my wok. Um, I have some green onions here for the noodles. And then I have some shiitake mushrooms that I've sliced. Um, I have some crushed garlic. And in here, I have some garlic salt, onion powder, garlic powder, um, a sprinkle of cayenne pepper and parsley in here. Um, I'll also, as I put the uh, tofu down in the wok, I'm gonna use this toasted, uh, this toasted sesame oil. And then I'm also gonna prepare uh, a couple of sushi rolls for my lunch tomorrow, which will consist of cucumber and avocado. And then I'm going to sprinkle some furkake over the top of the rice. Um, and um, I use some sticky rice. So the sticky rice is this brand here. Um, hopefully you can see it, BT is a, a sticky rice. So I actually have it cooling in a bowl because you have to cook it for two minutes in the microwave. And then I poured a little bit of, I poured a little bit of rice vinegar over it to break it up so it'd be so sticky. Um, as I'm rolling my rolls, So, I'm gonna start cooking my noodles. Um, I have some vegetable broth here in the pan. And while that is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and be doing my tofu and my shiitake mushrooms here. Um, the sushi wraps that I'm using are these Gimme Sushi Nori wraps. And I actually cut the, um, seaweed in half so the roll isn't so big um and this is the wasabi and the ginger that i'll have on the side here and hopefully you can see it um because the reflection is kind of off but um wasabi and ginger and to top off my roll i'm gonna put some spicy mayo over the top and for the spicy mayo i use this tabasco sriracha and this um, vegan Hellman's mayo to uh, drizzle over the top. Apologies, I have to clean as I go. I cannot have a dirty kitchen. So here's the uh, spicy mayo that I put in this container that I'll drizzle over the top. So, and here's the rice. So I'll keep wetting my hands as I do that. Um, I have my mat out uh, here. And if you want to know what the furkake, uh, what the furkake looks like, it looks like it's this little chopped seaweed with sesame seeds in it. It's kind of seasoned. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a pack of noodles in here. Well, both of them, and let them cook. Honestly, like to just eat the noodles raw. <laughs> so I'll actually have this meal for uh, dinner tonight and then um, lunch tomorrow. I should have probably let this come to a bowl, but it'll be okay once it gets going. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my walk and the sesame oil down and keep in mind you don't need a lot of sesame oil because it will overpower your dish in a major way that's plenty and i actually might throw a little bit of vegan butter down in here as well Uh, brand for my vegan butter is uh, 
country croc. Oh, I think that's enough. I hope you guys are liking my Meatless Monday videos that I've been posting. Please like and subscribe always. Comment. Uh, all that good stuff. Um, I really appreciate it and I appreciate you supporting my channel. Uh, I'm gonna grab some tongs for these noodles. While that's heating up, um, I'm gonna actually roll my sushi roll after I finish um, letting this cook. I'm gonna cook all of this first because I don't want to be trying to move, maneuver back and forth between two meals. I hope everyone had a great day. It was a good Monday. Fall looks to be setting in here in the next few days. So that is very exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook these noodles and once I get everything done here in the uh, pan, I'll come back. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, if I didn't, I do have some green onions that I'm gonna throw in there as well. So, um, and this pack comes in four, so there's four servings in here and the rice is actually two servings, uh, just in case you were wondering. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cooked up and once I start rolling my sushi roll, I'll show you what that looks like as I start um, rolling the roll and slicing it. Okay, so my ramen is done. Everything is in here. Uh, I forgot to mention I was going to throw in some chili onion crunch from Trader Joe's in there. And I actually uh, ran out. So luckily, um, I had this little sprinkle that I also threw in there to give it a little kick. So I'm gonna go ahead, I already started putting some of my rice on my seaweed and I probably shouldn't have left it sitting like this for a moment, but I have a little bowl of water here and I'm actually uh, getting this down. Um, I don't try and make it perfect because I gotta eat it anyway. But this on here and I'm only gonna roll one roll and then I'll finish but just so you can see the roll rolling once I plate it I'll show you a picture um, this is the for cocky season that I'm placing down here right now um, I'm gonna flip my seaweed over here. And I'll start putting down some avocado. And hopefully this does not come out because sometimes I'm not that successful in my roll. But I just keep practicing. I got a few cucumbers down here. sushi mat here uh, like I said before I cut the seaweed in half oh my gosh I spilled the water that's not good it's okay guess what it'll be okay so keep rolling here this roll isn't perfect but it's good enough for me so 
gonna leave this here. I'm actually gonna grab another piece of uh, plastic wrap. So here's my roll. And uh, I have my knife and water as well. So I should probably wait because I don't wanna keep going in and out of there. I'm gonna clean this mess up. And I'm actually going to grab another mat since I got that one wet. make all of this uh, not save the rice because it's already uh, been warmed so I probably will make a couple more rolls and then I'll have those sushi rolls over a couple of days I probably wouldn't eat it no more than three days probably over two days I would eat this Keep in mind, you don't want to overstuff your roll because if not, you will not be able to roll it as well. So, I'm not going to lie to you. This is a messy job. But the end result is so enjoyable, right? Okay, so I have the perkaki down. So I don't have the same problem as before. I'll move that bowl of water out the way. So let's put some avocado. I don't know why I sound like I be singing these words. <laughs> so we got some more cucumbers. Um, I think that's plenty. I'll need a couple more. Okay. So have the sushi down. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it. And as I say, you don't want to overstuff it because I got a little piece of avocado hanging out over here. But this roll is ready. Once I slice and plate everything, I'll actually cut it so you can see it real quick. And you want to make sure your knife is super sharp. Uh, I actually sharpened my knife uh, before I started. This is cutting really well too. I'll get my knife one more time. Okay. What you see the inside of one. There's my sushi roll. Hopefully you can see it. I'm actually going to try one now. I'm going to plate this and let you see everything together. And um, I'm going to
to sit down and eat dinner. So I hope you enjoyed these recipes.